It starts at 7 a.m. Each of these now very bulky beavers are loaded into crates, ready for the two and a half hour drive. This gets kind of like your kids. You, they go out and, and you're a little bit nervous. Can they handle it? Can they handle the big world and, and do well? Delyn Erickson Mothaller is executive director over the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Northern Utah. Letting them go is, is amazing. It's a, it's a good thing. Especially amazing since this is how the six so-called hero beavers looked several months ago, drenched in oil and burned skin to show for it. They were credited for stopping some of the flow of an oil pipeline spill at Willard Bay, but at their own expense. The most time consuming, the most challenging um, that we've faced yet. In the Uintas, some temporary lodges are filled with fresh food. And one by one, each beaver put inside two. Each of them are very far from the home they were once used to. That's close to 100 miles away from their original home in Willard. But this pond, according to the Division of Wildlife, used to be home to some beavers, and this seemed like a good opportunity to rebuild. We fully expected to lose at least two of them and to have all six survive and, and be healthy and be able to release back in the wild is, is pretty remarkable. And as they come out to explore, a team of volunteers watch on. A little bit nervous for him. <laughs> Not only are they like her children. We have a common interest and a common goal. Delyn and Buzz Marthaler are now a husband and wife team as of February. They've both worked with wildlife for several years, but these guys were their most taxing project yet, taking up to 16 hours of care each day. I would not <laughs> recommend this for any couple. <laughs> Still, they say it's rewarding to finally reach this point. The last beaver will be released after recovering from a foot surgery, and even then, there's no guarantee that any of them Will survive out here, but they say you still have to try. It's like letting your kids go out the door. You, they may fail, they may stumble, but uh, you're, you're hoping and, and got your fingers crossed. In the Uintas, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.